if this is my first video, please don't judge me. We're going to do something similar to this. Well, let's get started and move on. We're going to need 12 popsicle sticks. After that, we're going to set these aside and show you the rest. We're going to need wood glue. You could also use hot glue if you like. You could use paints of any choice that you want. These are mine. You're going to need a palette or somewhere to put your paints. We're going to need also paint brushes. I mean, you could use your finger if you want. We don't judge in this channel. You know me already. Now, we're going to get our popsicle sticks. We're going to align them. Make sure there's no gaps. We don't want peekaboos in there, so align them good. After that, you're going to get the four that remain. You're going to put some glue on them, like that. And you're going to stick them in this order. You're going to repeat it with the four popsicle sticks that you have left. Alrighty, now you could let it dry for four to two hours if you like. Now you see, it's super sturdy with the wood glue. We're going to put some white coating on and we do this process so that the wood will absorb the white instead of the paint that you're going to use. So you can use less of the paint and also helps you blend. So I'm going to put the purple on top and the pink in the middle. After this, all you need is to blend them. Well, let's move on to that step. As you can see, I already blended mine from the top to the bottom or you can do from the bottom to the top and I did also my outline already this is my finished product we put some stars as details we shaded the mountains so you could see and we also painted the hair a different color of black we also shaded some of the water so you, so you could get that dimension of more of a watery and then after that you could let it dry so thank you for joining me today I'm glad you're watching this until the very end and subscribe like this video and we'll comment thank you